yo, 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 welcome back to the channel, your boy Trucker B. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Today I'm coming to y'all with a quick video, let y'all know. Hey man, Michigan paying. Every load I've gotten out of Michigan been 1800 a bell, and I've been on it like three, four times on a rope. From Coldwater, Michigan to Reed, Michigan. I mean, Detroit, Michigan, like everywhere in Michigan is paying. I'm just updating y'all. Okay, so I've been getting 1,800, 64, 1,832, 1,800, 1,803, um, 1,900, like everything out of Michigan is paying, fella. That's the place to be. If you drive for Prime, if you get loaded out of Michigan, it's paying. I mean, it's paying darn good, and there's some pretty smooth, easy going loads, no like, no two, three stops. They mostly are um, dropping hook and wherever you are picking up at the old one. And I'll drop a hook at the 90. But I'm currently getting a live load. But yeah, they paying on. Um, I want to go over there, which I want. also want to talk about, um, you know, United Rose um, laid off their operation managers all across the board. Like, they got they did away with that position. You had Swift do some internal. And then Swift didn't lay off any um, drivers or operation managers or um, fleet managers. But they did lay off other employees within the company. Within the company. So, you know, right now, fellas, I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, y'all don't already know, we're going to a recession. So, you know, stack your coins, have your paper together, get everything in order, have your affairs in order. Don't be out here spending unnecessary money on stuff you don't need. Like, you need to wait and see what we have, because, like, it's getting ugly out like here, fellas. Like, like, I know it's a lot of people that left Prime. They probably regret that they, the day that they left Prime now, because Prime is not hiring them back, and they're currently really not doing too much hiring. And, you know, they hiring like three, four people a week. Like, I've been up there on campus in. Like, it's like five new drivers a week compared to when I first started. They had like 20 people up there, like weekly. 20, they were hiring 20 people weekly. But when we went through that little rough patch at the beginning of the year, a lot of people quit. They just decided not to even fill those spots, not to even put nobody in no truck just to sell those truck. And they, they did it like that. They let people fill out who wanted to fall off and the ones who wanted to stay, they kept them. And they let, they, they let it, that happen until they got rid of 400 people. So basically, they didn't they didn't get rid of them. They let them get rid of themselves. The ones who wanted to be here, they let them stay. So, you know, it's, it's getting crazy. Like, these mega carriers, they taking over. Like, everybody I know, I got family, friends who drive, own operators. Like, they sit in their trucks driving. They sit in their trucks down driving for a company. Even, um, I can't think of the, the people who own over the load board that majority of all the um, own operator use. They did some internal laying off. So, you know, if they laying off, oh, and then all they doing is providing the loads. And, you know, people be complaining, saying that they be double booking the loads. Everybody think they were getting so much money. They couldn't have been getting too much money. They laying off. So, you know, it's getting ugly out here. I'm just here to preach to y'all, man. Save your money, stack your coins, stack your chips, hustle. Don't turn down no loads. Try to sell all of those you can unless it's just something that you ain't trying to go. Like it's getting also it's, it's getting cold. So you know if it's slow right now when it's supposed to be fast or a little a, a better pace than what it is, imagine when it get cold what it gonna do out here. Like it's finna get ugly out here. Like and you know, man, it's it's gonna be ugly, man. And I'm just here to provide that to y'all game. I'm just here to let y'all know Prime is the best company right now to drive for. On average, we average around every drive is still averaging around five thousand dollars a week. You ain't gonna get that nowhere else. Not five thousand dollars weekly. Like every driver still averaging like around five thousand dollars weekly. So you know, there's a lot of companies, there's a lot of drivers out here that say, "Oh, Prime scheme." Like where well, they scheme, they they can scheme me all they want to. Cause anytime I'm able to bring home on a bad week in between eighteen hundred to twenty four hundred, and on a good week, on a good week twenty seven hundred to thirty three hundred for the week, I, I'm good with it. Like I'm not greedy. And one thing this year has taught me, you cannot be greedy. So, you know, I, I they, they had a question. The driver was asking, like, should he leave the mail? He was a drive, truck driver for the mail company. Should he leave them where he make $95,000 a year? I'm, I'm, if he had to ask me, I told man, stay where you at, man. You a company driver making $95,000 a year? Man, stay where you at. Nine times out of ten, you bring home in between $1,300. Thirteen hundred a week to fifteen hundred dollar a week, and you probably home way more than an OTR drive. Man, stay where you at, man. These drivers treating you, thinking it's so much money out here. Like, let's be real, it was a lot of money out here, but the money didn't slow down. It's all across the board, all across the board. It slow down, so you know you can't be fooled. I tell y'all all the time, man. You don't, you don't think with your eyes. You 
short term, you gotta think long term. When it get ugly, them folks ain't gonna be able to get that, get you booked no loads like that. And you're gonna be sick. I'd rather sit out here for a mega carrier than sick for an operator. But one thing about a, a mega carrier, 